Alright, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold I love summer, but you know, sometimes it just gets a little bit too hot. But I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain because every time I'm freezing my ass off in the middle of January, I complain about how I wish it was summer and I could just wear a freaking t-shirt. So I'm not gonna complain when the weather is finally hot. But what I am going to do is show you guys some of my favorite casual summer outfits for those days when it's really hot. Like no chance of you wearing two layers hot, no jeans, no jacket. The only goal here is to wear as little clothing as possible while still looking like your best stylish self. I wanted to narrow it down to 10 outfits, but I just couldn't. I tried, but I really didn't want to remove any of these outfits because I like them all. I think they all provide a different take on summer outfits, a different style and ideas you can get inspired by for your outfits. So we're going to have 11 outfits. Let's get into it. To start off, I'm going back to my roots here with this full Uniqlo look. Simple, easygoing, very much summery with its colors. This is the U oversized Airism t-shirt. In my opinion, their best basic new product this year. Out of all the t-shirts I've tried, I think this is the only one with an oversized silhouette that competes with my other favorite, Everlane's relaxed premium weight t-shirt. I paired it with these light blue relaxed cotton trousers for a cool and casual summer look. Light blue and pink are two analogous colors, meaning they're right next to each other in the color wheel. And in my opinion, they're perfect for the summertime, paired with some white sneakers to have at least one neutral color to anchor the look. I can't talk about summer outfits without mentioning shorts, of course. I find that the ideal run-of-the-mill length for a pair of shorts is right above the knee. This is a standard length that will fit any body type in my opinion. It's not overly stylized, it's not super short or long, just a classic well-fitting pair of shorts. Here I'm wearing it with the same oversized tee from Uniqlo but in brown this time and some slightly sportier white sneakers than the previous one for an easy no fuss summer look that probably won't turn any heads in the street but definitely looks put together and will help keep your body from overheating. Okay, now we're going into a bit more of the stylized territory, a little more fashion forward with these off-white, high-waisted long shorts. I tucked in a black Cuban collar shirt to really emphasize the high waist. I love the look of the pleats on the shorts and the whole outfit kind of gives me a Harry Styles vibe, which I love. That man definitely knows how to dress and I just wish I had a pair of Gucci loafers to complete the look because I think it would really bring it all together. Unfortunately, my bank account does not have the facilities for that. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> Maybe one day. So instead, I grabbed these black leather low tops which makes for a decent second option. Keeping along with the Harry Styles inspo, I styled what are probably the most high-waisted pair of trousers I've ever seen with this slim fit t-shirt and a sort of transparent mesh fabric which is super breathable and the barely visible shoes under the trouser fabric are my good old Oliver Cabell white sneakers. I'm fully embracing the slim top and wide bottom silhouette here with the very wide trousers and slimmer t-shirt. It's a silhouette that I've been enjoying more and more lately. And yes, I know I still need to make that video on silhouettes that I promised, and I will. Also, I'm well aware this is probably not something that most guys would wear as an everyday look, but hey, I love fashion, I've been experimenting more recently, and my guiding principle on how to dress has been to wear whatever makes me look in the mirror and feel confident and amazing about myself. This could be a great look for an evening night out, a fashion party, anything where the dress code is a little more wild, or if you're simply the kind of person that would wear this on a regular day, that is amazing and more power to you. Okay, for outfit number five, we're going back to the Scandinavian minimalist clean aesthetic with a simple white tee tucked in these navy white leg trousers and some minimal white sneakers. Consider this the more classic, timeless version of the previous outfit. And I promise this is the last outfit using these sneakers. I know I've been using them a lot, but hey, it shows the versatility of white sneakers, right? You can literally wear these with anything. As you might have noticed, I definitely tend to lean towards looser fits in summer. Not only is it a very on-trend look, it's also super functional, as wider fits tend to be much more comfortable to wear than, say, some skinny jeans when you're sweating your balls off. 
onto a more streetwear inspired aesthetic. And yes, I am pulling out the all black look, even in summer. Not even the sun will stop me from embracing my darkest, moodiest Parisian self on those days when I'm feeling extra moody. These shorts with a patch pocket detail I picked up from Koss. I swear this brand has the best selection of shorts by the way. I'll link these and everything else I'm wearing in the video in the description. And I went with these black leather high tops from Camper, long black socks and the same Uniqlo Airism oversized tee in black. I kind of went for a part streetwear, part futuristic vibe here and I love the result. Definitely a vibe that I'll be recreating more often in future outfits. Okay, so we experimented with the bottom heavy silhouette earlier with the wide pants and mesh tee. This time we're going oversized on the top half with this beautiful pink oversized shirt with a kimono sleeve design which I find really cool. And I paired it with some relaxed fitting base trousers and these pink Oliver Cabell sneakers to recall the color of the shirt of course. The thought process behind the outfit here is to take some inspo from streetwear in terms of the overall relaxed silhouette, but using these traditionally quote unquote menswear pieces such as the short sleeve shirt and the minimal sneakers with a little bit of a bolder twist in regards to the color choice and the design of the statement piece which is the oversized kimono sleeve shirt. This is a case where I feel like it was better to go for pants that are a little bit on the looser side to create a more cohesive silhouette because since the top half is so oversized, I feel like anything too slim on the bottom would have been too big of a contrast. Outfit number eight. I'm feeling sassy and classy with this one. Probably the most elegant looking outfit of the lookbook. I styled these peach trousers with a black and beige floral shirt and some black Chelsea boots. This is definitely something I'd keep for a fancier event. I think it would be a perfect look to go to a classy cocktail party or maybe a rooftop bar on a mild summer evening. Just talking about it makes me want to go to an event where I can wear this outfit. I think formal trousers like this with a press crease but in a more fun color than your standard black navy grey are super underrated. They can make for a very fun look for any fancier outing where you want to look dressed up but not like you came straight from the office. Who said black and brown couldn't go together? Because I disagree wholeheartedly. Take this outfit for example. Black trousers, brown tank top, white short sleeve shirt and black sneakers. If I had gone for a white or black tank top instead, sure it would have worked color wise, nothing outrageous, but I think that going for the brown instead provides just a touch of contrast needed to make the color pairing of this outfit more interesting. The key is to choose a shade of brown that's, well, brown enough to not fade in with the black. You want to be able to easily spot the contrast and make it seem like a very intentional choice, not a mishap because you got dressed in the dark. For outfit number 10, I had to bring in a jacket. It's the only one in the lookbook. And I know I said we're doing outfits for sweat drenching hot temperatures, but hear me out. This jacket is super lightweight. The most lightweight jacket I have. It almost feels like you're not wearing anything at all. And I wanted to show you guys at least one outfit with an outer layer. So I paired this lightweight cotton hooded jacket with some relaxed beige trousers, a light and breathable white tee, and these cream sneakers from Camper. By the way, I never thought of Camper as a cool brand, but I then stumbled on these while scrolling Farfetch and they're so dope. I instantly fell in love. I'm all for this futuristic sci-fi vibe, but at the same time, it almost feels like I'm combat ready. This whole outfit kind of gives me a Rocky meets Star Wars vibe and I'm all for it. Finally, for the last outfit, number 11, I'm sure you can understand why I had to make it 11. I could not end a summer lookbook without at least one look with white trousers. There are no pants that scream hot summer day more so than white pants. Change my mind. This is the classic Riviera look to channel your inner sexy Mediterranean man. It's what I pictured Don Draper wearing on an off-duty day at the beach, a bread on t-shirt, white trousers with a sharp press crease down the leg, and some loafers. Okay, now I want to go to the beach. All right, guys, these were my 11 casual summer outfits. Remember, when it's hot, strip down the layers, choose breathable fabrics such as lightweight cotton, linen, silk, even summer wools. Yes, that is a thing. Some wools are made to be worn in hot temperatures. And it's a good time to start embracing looser, more relaxed fits if that's something that you haven't yet experimented with. With that said, I wish you all a beautiful day. Stay stylish, stay hydrated, and I will see you in the next video.
Oh, and go follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Let's get some more of this community on there. Spread the love, spread the fashion, and tag me in your looks. All right, I'll see you soon. Peace.